Mm -hmm. Okay. Given an integer, return its base seven string representation. Okay. Um, I mean, this seems actually straightforward. Uh, maybe. I uh, think. I think for 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 these problems, is always uh, at least for kind of for the purpose of twitching and maybe even. Uh, uh, for interviews, you always try to figure out like what's the best way to kind of think about these things, um, and well, I mean the best thing to do is just use the library. I think if you use uh, maybe, maybe that too, but like you could do something like return int num seven or something like that, or maybe I'd convert it to string, uh, something like that would probably work uh, because that is. Uh, but anyway, the idea is that in general there are a lot of languages that have built-in uh, functionalities or libraries that already do does this. So, uh, so yeah. So I mean, so that's pretty straightforward. Though hmm, I have a typo, so you have to learn uh, <laughs> how to use your uh, uh, use the library. So it's a fun test of that. Um, Oh man, this is that's not right. Oh, uh, give me a number, ten base seven representation. Oh, okay. So I think I can move it the other way. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, so oh yeah. Uh, a lot of these cases, uh, you would do the just want a library, which is not that interesting for the purpose of kind of um. Uh, 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 actually trying to solve this problem and I suspect that if like for example if we're doing this in an interview uh, I mean I think what I would normally do as an interviewee is to be like hey I'm yeah first of all which is what I mentioned before I would do the library function but I also have reasonable expectation that the interviewer will be like hey okay that's great now what if you have to implement it right because well <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, because if you don't have, if you don't implement it, then I mean, it 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 becomes trivial rather than like even any reasonable, uh, 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 like no one learns how much you know about programming if you're just running libraries. I mean, I mean, it just has a very low ceiling, right, as to like how how much information you get from that. So I'm gonna try to actually code this out. Uh, so it seems to be two case, uh, two initial cases. So actually, I guess we could just do something like. Uh, just return so directly, and then yeah. maybe like a helper function. I was <laughs> I also always find these uh, 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 naming to be kind of sometimes a little tough because. Uh, and a lot of programming problems you don't really even give in the context, right? So like, like let's say if you're working on an actual real life project, then you have the context to, on figure out like, you know, uh, uh, what it's actually going to be used for, so you have more ideas about it. But in, in cases like this, it's just there's a lot of like widgets and thingy majiggies and like things. I, I don't know, but uh, okay, cool. Uh, so that's kind of sets it up a little bit. A little bit. Um, and then this is just, you know, with, uh, and basically, uh, uh, for phase seven, we, all, all we do is just, uh, yeah, we, we keep on trying to divide it by seven and then get the mod of that as much as possible. Uh, so that pretty much is, I think, uh, oops. uh, actually, and Mm, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that should be okay. Uh, mm. uh, I think this roughly is right. Uh, maybe it's going to be good or something like that. Uh, Something about languages that I'm, uh, 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 yeah. Oh, thanks, John. Uh, but I, I already took count of the negatives here, so it should be okay. I mean, there's some stuff about like the uh, 
standard library usage that I'm not confident about, so I'm going to just want to see where it complains. Uh, yeah, it should be like a string dot reverse or something, but I don't even know if I reverse maybe. Or well, I, I always forget. But the idea is that because, um, oh, okay, fine. Uh, I'll just do something like this instead. Then. Um, because your your least significant digits will always, you'll keep on getting your least significant digits. Okay, that's good. Um, okay, so it actually doesn't. Uh, that's a good testing. Okay, so that should be okay. Well, I mean, of course we should, as usual, just test our stuff. Uh, so, okay, well, let's just try even make it up 100. Oh, man. That's not good. Oh, I forgot to convert this to. Okay. Oh, thanks, and, uh, and Lamb. Yeah, I... <laughs> uh, I, I, I imagine that actually works on the collection, but yeah, I just forgot. But, but this is probably also just easy to understand and, and allow me to explain because I was just kind of treating the string as a, a crappy a way where the least significant digit is first, where it should be last in, you know, in real life representation. So, I mean, I, just, yeah, I, mean I, I think it doesn't really matter either way, except for, for if you have a huge number and, you know, string concatenation and stuff like that, that might become an issue. But, but I think for less than, uh, what, a million, it should be okay. Uh, I'm, I'm not too worried about it. So let's see what happens to this maybe it's zero. Is that okay? Oh, mm. I don't know if that's routed input actually, but sometimes I check this in case. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess this should maybe hang it. Okay, so I'm gonna submit it. I mean it is easy, so okay. So that that was um yeah, uh cool pure to eventually divide the number until it becomes zero. But that's uh, yeah, you're right. I guess that, uh, yeah, you're definitely right. You could, we could definitely optimize this to be something like this, I guess. Uh, so that probably also solves it. Uh, we could play around with that. But, uh, but yeah, I, I think for me, um, and some of that is unfamiliarity with Python and uh, stuff in general, because I always forget, like, to be frank, uh, one, one concern I had while I was coding was, was whether this actually gives me a, a, a float or an integer because some language, I, I always forget which language is which and some languages they do like a magic conversion somewhere and, and that's something that I worry about sometimes. So I was just making sure I get it right. Uh, but, but you're definitely right. There are definitely optimizations here uh, or not even necessary optimization, just like minor clean, uh, cleanups that we can do. And I think at this phase, after I, for me, I definitely optimize for correctness first and then uh, and then I would talk, if I was an interviewer, I would talk to the interviewer, hey, and then, and okay, now that I got the, this, uh, you know, mostly correct, these are the things I would work on, including stuff that you're talking about, with the maybe reverse string, which maybe that was a, not a great paradigm to begin with, uh, maybe putting these into a race, so then we just collect them at the end, uh, and what you were saying about, like, uh, uh, using num07, and I mean, it, it doesn't, <clears> there <throat> isn't any slower, but it is definitely cleaner to read for sure.